We're at the Omni Frisco Hotel in beautiful Frisco, Texas. We are here for the 2021 Sun and Star Legacy Award Dinner. This is an event that honors people who have really influenced the U.S.-Japan relationship in meaningful ways. And so we'll be honoring a few people this evening. We'll have Ambassador Kenichiro Sasai. We'll have his wife, Nabuko Sasai, who both will be receiving the Sun and Star Legacy Award. And we will have Anna McFarland, who is our longtime executive director, who will receive the Bridges to Friendship Award. I was involved in it from the very beginning. I think it's the one social event where American business people have access to Japanese business people for networking. It's unique in that way, and it's been very successful. So I'm very honored to be in this fellowship of like-minded people who believe in this U.S.-Japan relationship. So relationship the United States and the Japan is really important for many aspects. And the Japan-American society is a foundation for those relationships. That's the reason we support this. There are partners in Japan that we would love to talk to about relocating to Plano. And we want to make sure that if that is a possibility, uh, we're certainly in the conversation. I just want the folks that are here tonight and those that have been here for a while to endorse that because we're really proud of that and we want it to continue. It is more generally a concept of how we bring the U.S. and Japan together, not just through diplomacy or business, but in exchanges, in personal-to-personal -personal relations. And those are the strongest ties of all. Those are the most important ones. It is important for not only the governments to work together, but the people of Japan and U.S. to respect each other, understand each other, so they continue to become very good strategic allies and friends for, for many years to come.